chest sound from it. I saw some seeds out there. I mean, uh, compost that I made, green compost. This seed that I harvested from my own plant. You can see the difference. The growth vigorous and the viability is really good in England. And as you see, so the sun was really orange, going to seed. at our plants and I can see here. So we harvest the food. I'm doing this in 2016 of October. So I'm going to do the rest. F1 to get F1. This is one of my secret places that I come for collecting chestnuts, sweet chestnuts. Uh, until I have my own chestnut tree, this is the best option to collect chestnut here. And you can see here, we are going to have them with potato and even roast it just on its own, just eat it. Uh, is it <laughs> this is a luxury, I don't think city people <laughs> may have such a chance. <laughs> We live in a very rural area. And I'm telling you, dogs don't like to walk on this. To walk, to walk on this, take a look at this. <laughs> Even people, if they don't have a very good shoe, it's difficult for them. Susan, have you found a lot? This is a lovely place. Collect chestnut. Ah, oh, it reminds me of my childhood. This time of the year was the time for chestnut. Uh -huh. mm, we are so lucky living in these areas. Privileged. <laughs> yeah, we live on foraging. Mother nature. <laughs> they say Mother nature. <laughs> Berries. Berries, yeah. And people didn't know. The locals don't know that what is this? They think it's Sometimes gorgeous. Not, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the reason you can come and collect them. I think we have already collected about a kilo. Yeah. We can collect more. It's difficult with one hand because <laughs> they are so freaky. <laughs> Oh here, yeah, big ones. Yeah. Oh. So they are practically clean because the dogs don't like to walk on them. Like that one. Yeah, I, I tend not to open them <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't break easily. <laughs> so I prefer just to collect the ones that are already open. Oh, <laughs> did you enjoy that? My secret chestnut paradise. Okay, we collected lots of uh, chestnut from uh, foraging in the woodland. And I'm not going to weigh them. This is a scale. I'm putting them here just to see how many kilos, if any, we have here. So I'm putting them here. You can use it to, you can, uh, you know, roast it. You can uh, uh, open them and just take the nuts and uh, mill them, grind them, and make a flour and mix it with the. Uh, mashed potato but you cannot keep it for long because it will go moldy
Okay, this is one kilo. So that is one kilo, and yet we have some more. I will weigh the rest of it. Okay, now I'll fill this. Nutritious also pricey, so I may have to pay around eight pounds for a kilo. So that uh, that one kilo goes a long way, and this is local, so there is no fuel consumed in transporting it. So that is now one kilo. That's another one kilo, and I put it now in this one, joining with the other. Okay, so far this is two kilo, and now we are going for the last bit. Okay, this one is now here as you can see 200 grams so 2.2 kilograms of the sweet chestnut from around a half an hour of foraging that means around uh, 16 to 17 pound money by 16 to 17 pound so, so what you have done with the sweet chestnut can i just ask well, these are sweet chestnuts. They're small because they're wild. Mm -hmm. We foraged for them. And um, I washed them. I put them in an ordinary baking tray for about half an hour. It's about 170, I think, on the electric cooker. And you put it in the oven? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I roasted them. Oh. And I roasted them with um, the seasonings. I use... Um, seasoning salt yeah this is the seasoning salt purpose seasoning it could be any the any brand at all and this is seasoning salt it can be bought in any shop any on any baking aisle of any shop mm -hmm. yeah, seasoning salt and i give equal measures to these so just to taste i i like mine um Pretty really nice and savoury and sauce. So. Oh, look at that. Well, this is the nut, and it's done in the flavours from the seasoning salt will go through the shell. Can we taste it? Yeah, taste it. There you look, I just peel the nut. There you go. They can be a little bit peeling oh, then. Oh, so that's lovely. so good. <laughs> Sweet, slightly salty. Oh. Can I have That's, another one? This is what you mean by nutty. They really taste I'm like a nut. I'm turning to nutty, really. The Irish always said somebody is as sweet as a nut, and oh. this was the sweetest nut they'd be talking about. Oh, look at this one. Yeah. Mm. So, oh, that's the best nut. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, so this is the season oil for the chestnut, huh? Yeah, this is the season for check out. Mm. Mm. Oh, there you go. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If you forage for them, they, they're small. But they're so nice. They're so much better, actually, than nice and the cultivated. Yeah. The small ones also is good because they may have more concentration. I think this one is actually a horse thing. chestnut that's got in there somewhere. Really? Yes. Open it. I, I like so. it. That was not. No, no, no. I think that was in the middle of two other things. All right. No, this isn't a whole. This whole is a no, normal It's a sweet one, yeah. It's a mm. sweet one. I remember, oh. if you want to make the difference between a sweet chestnut and a horse chestnut, is that a horse chestnut will always just have one nut in its shell. Mm hmm. Sweet chestnuts could have two, three, sometimes four. Oh. And that's how you can tell. Just put your foot on one. Well, what I can say is that, you know, 
have a little cut in this by mm. the knife. Then you put it in your mouth because there's salt around it. Mm. The salt goes to your mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice yeah. on the skin of me. Yeah. Then with your tooth, you extract the rest yeah. of it, like this one that I did here. Yeah, you get all the, mm. you get all the seasoning in the nuts. Oh, that's the onion. Lovely. Mm, mm. I'll have this one for my lunch. Yeah, that's it any time. Thank you, Susan, yeah.